How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually show you the process of upgrading a, a database for a particular device. If you are going to be replacing an NAE with a newer version device or if you are doing an upgrade on your system where you are uh, going to be uh, upgrade upgrading the firmware in the devices then this is part of that process. If, uh, for example, uh, if you are replacing an older NAE that is at version 8.0 or 8.1 or earlier, and you are replacing that device with the newer SNE, which is something that we have recently done, uh, you will need to upgrade the database within your system and then download that database into that device. Uh, what you see here is I have a database that I am going to be migrating to a newer version highlighted. And if you've ever done a download, uh, then you are probably familiar with this. But what we will do is simply go up to Tools. We will go to the Manage Archive section. And underneath the Manage Archive, it gives me the option for upgrade or migrate a device. Okay, and what I will do is simply select that. Uh, you, it does give you some options as far as like patch supervisory device. We're not going to be doing any of that right now. I'm going to hit next and it will bring me to the next screen. Now in this screen, what we have is the current device. We currently have an NAE45. And the new version, uh, the new device that we're going to be replacing it with is an SNE 1100. So this little drop down uh, will give me the option of selecting some compatible devices that would be able to run this database. Of course, the one that we want is the SNE 1100. So I select that. The current release version of the database is at 8.0. We will be upgrading that to version 11. Once I have that selected, and there again, you do have the option of adding additional devices uh, to this screen to where if you're going to be doing several devices at once in your system, but this, uh, for this example, we're just going to use a single device. After I have the device selected, uh, you can see there it just went green, and we are ready to proceed. So I will then hit next and it will bring me to my next screen to where I can either schedule this upgrade or upgrade it now. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade it now, so I will hit next. And once I do that, it is going to ask for the device login, a default login to the device, to the database. So you will need to enter your password here. Once I have the password entered, I simply press the authenticate for upgrade. It will take just a moment. It's also going to ask for a default password. Uh, and you can see it will not let me proceed until I enter that default password. And let's just read this. It says accounts which are not FIPS compliant will be locked with a default password. Each user must change the password upon first login. After seven days, each account not changed will become dormant. Basically, what I'm going to do here is enter our a password that we use for uh, different uh, devices on our system for situations like this. Once I have that password entered, uh, it does give me the option to be able to proceed, so I will hit next. And it has, this is just a summary screen, and you can see here it is just basically asking me or showing me what we are about to do. After I hit the finish button, it will actually go out and migrate or upgrade the database only. This is not upgrading the device. It is only upgrading the archive, the SCT archive, for that device. Uh, of course, if you have the newer versions of SCT, uh, if you wish 
to download the database of a into a newer device uh, this is the first step in that process it's going to take just a few minutes for it to complete the upgrade but we will see some changes once it does finally finish uh, we're up now to 59 percent and it doesn't really take a long period of time okay you can see here upgrade device we do have an okay something that i want to show you that you will notice different about your database if you migrate to an sne notice that it has changed the icon out beside your device it is no longer the gray it is now the black and if you are familiar with the new snes uh, you will know what they look like but guys that is the basic steps involved in upgrading or migrating an sct backup for a device hope you liked the video if you have any questions leave those down in the comments below uh, i'm going to be doing a video on replacing an NAE with an SNE. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel for more. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out all the links down in the description. Visit my website at systemcontroltech.net and we will see you next time.